So my name is Isabel Bekerechianding. I am the chair of the scientific committee of the IMI2 program. And um, my, I come from a regulatory agency in Germany, which is called Paul Ehrlich Institute. We do research and regulation, so this is a very neat combination. What I think is what we really need is new, chemically new substances. Mm -hmm. um, we do have the possibility sometimes to chemically alter substances that we already know, and this can, for a certain time frame, maybe avoid resistance and um, or help, for example, to reduce toxic effects. But on the whole, what we're really lacking is new ideas and concepts on how to develop new antibiotics and bring them into the market, which is the other problem. And of course, my very favorite is vaccines, but this is very, very difficult, I admit. And this is why people are rather thinking of um, pushing the development of antibiotics, because it's probably going to be faster. No, actually, it's been the first Staph aureus vaccines were um, tested in the 1950s. And they were actually quite successful. They were heat killed bacteria that were injected into patients. And um, uh, up to today, there has been, have been several clinical trials for developments in Staph aureus vaccines. There have been um, vaccines against Clostridium difficile. And there also have been vaccines for Pseudomonas, but they have all in common that they haven't been successful. Of course, some, some aspects we have to denote, and a lot of it is probably the clinical development, that it's not clear which patient group will really benefit from a vaccine, whether or not the microbiome um, resilience, for example, is more important than the immune system and whether um, some patients may be a cure because they have a very good immune system, others cure because they have a very resilient um, microbiome that, that can uh, sort of compensate for the infection. And so this is, it has been very tricky. And the other thing is that in dif uh, the difference to other vaccines that are on the market and uh, that are actually sometimes even easy to develop, like the viral vaccines, is that we're colonized with bacteria and our body knows these pathogens very well. So we develop a tolerogenic immune response against these bacteria. And so far, none of the approaches has really tried to develop a novel, innovative vaccine that would try to skew the immune response. So far, the vaccines have more or less been boostering the immune response that was already present.